even ketchup. Never mind learn with two. Originally, one master on earth. I mean, you have different degree of master, but you must know and pray for the highest, the best, that you get liberated one life. Otherwise, take a long time. Yeah, you can make it in two, three lives or two, three thousand years. So pray for the best and get only the best. That would be the best. And if you are sincere in your prayer, God will send you the best. Yeah? Ask for the best, that I only want to know God in this lifetime, so please send me someone who makes me know God, who can help me to know God, and He will send the best. Otherwise, He will send you someone who can take you to some heavens or can give you some magical powers or kind of fancy stuff. <laughs> but if you pray to know God and God alone, in one lifetime you send the best, the fastest, the most powerful. Is meditation the fastest way to enlightenment? Yes, but depends on what kind of meditation. Our meditation, yes, instant, <laughs> instantly, you know something about God. It's like in the Bible it is said, in the beginning was the Word, vibration, and the Word was God, the Word was with God. If you practice with our method, you hear that Word, which is God, and you know God. But at first sight, probably you will not be very sure. And after some repeating meditation on the Word, on God, you will know for sure that is God and you will know that you and God are one. Oh, the next question was, what is the Kuan Yin method? That is the one who recognizes the Word of God, helps you to recognize instantly the Word of God, or the Word which is God. Okay? Satan seems to be personalized evil, but is there an actualized evil being or demons that roam this world, or are they within us? The world within is also the world without, so we couldn't really separate. Whatever in our mind would normally manifest outwardly. Therefore, you see two persons who stays in the same room, we have different perception of the surrounding, and the atmosphere surrounded them. It could be that one is miserable to death and the other one is joyfully in heaven every day, or at least at that moment. So we cannot say that the evil is within or without us. It's both, just like God is within and without us, and is everywhere. Depends on our perception. Our perception is God or evil, makes God or evil appear our conception and perception. We have to change the conception. If we think in godly way, practice the way of God, then we are always in God's presence. If we practice the way of evil, think of evil, then we are always in the presence of Satan. Satan is not a person, it's not a personality, it's not a character. It is a force which is released out of our negative thinking, actions, and speech. It exists all over places, but we don't need to know Him if we turn ourselves into the kingdom of God. We tune in the kingdom of God, then we are in the kingdom of God. We tune in the kingdom of evil, then we are in the kingdom of darkness. Okay? All depends on our conception and tune-in ability. So when we meditate and we know the technique to tune in in the kingdom of God, we are always in the kingdom of God. Just like your radio, you can turn it to different channels. Eh? What is the spirit? Does it manifest itself only at moments or can it be recognized constantly? It can be recognized constantly by constant awareness, yeah? by meditation. 
by repeatedly being aware of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, we will be uh, making a kind of habit to be aware of the Spirit all the time. And then later, it becomes like an automatic process. Then we are always in it. It doesn't matter where we are or what we do. Like the Zen, there's the eating, sleeping, walking, it's all Zen, <laughs> like that. It has been a joy to have your charming company on today's Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for part three of By All Means Be a Vegetarian. And now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Golden Age Technology, coming up next. Farewell and God bless. <laughs>